banging on wax offers the gang members an outlet for their anger. He's Amy Powell has a story. They are members of two of L.A.'s most notorious gangs. Red is the color identified with the blood. The Crips wear blue. Sixteen gang members have put aside their weapons and their differences and united as rappers. Getting Bloods and Crips in the, in the room and they don't know what's going on is hard I mean, until you sit down and talk to them like men and they can understand what, what it's all about. And I think the whole thing was respect. I think if you give respect, they'll give you respect. We're trying to show them that we can come together, make a record, and show positive issues, and at the same time, right prove that we have talents, right. other than just pulling triggers and doing whatever, selling drugs. Producer Ronnie Phillips says he wanted to give the gang members an opportunity to do something positive. I, mean, I don't look at them as being bloods or crips. I look at them as being my brother. And once we understood that, we, had, we started a relationship. And once you start a relationship, then you can work together. Then you become business partners. Then you can grow, become producers, actors, whatever. Because there's a lot of talent in the streets, and people overlook that. When this project started, some of these gang members didn't even want to be in the same room together. Now they formed lasting relationships. Banging on Wax will be released next week. From Los Angeles, I'm Amy Powell for E! News Week in Review. Francesca Capucci reports he's brought together two long-standing enemies in hopes of redirecting their anger without violence. Banging on Wax was the vision of producer Ronnie Phillips. My whole philosophy was to stop the brothers from killing each other because right now there is no way out. Only way out is either give them better jobs, which that's not happening. Nobody's working at Mickey D's nowadays because these guys make more money than I do in a week that's on the street. So my thing was to come up with a record. These guys can make some money and can better their lives. Phillips gathered gang members from different parts of Los Angeles. His goal? To reach the kids. The ones I'm really worried about is the BJs, the baby gangsters. And once they realize, hey man, instead of me picking up my, picking up my nine to shoot you, I'd rather pick up an eight pin and write a diss rhyme. Mm -hmm. You know, that's basically what it's all about. The raps are hard and violent, but the Bloods told me rapping is a safer way to seek revenge. Keep those lines of communication open. Banging on Wax will be an ongoing project. Ronnie Phillips plans on producing an additional three albums with different gang members from different areas. Both gangs say they will invest the money they make from Banging on Wax into their community. Banging on Wax is an album containing the redirected energies of members of the Bloods and the Crips, two violent rival Los Angeles gangs. The idea was to have the gang members deal with their differences verbally instead of physically and create some honest income at the same time. A portion of the province from the Banging on Wax album will be used to help build recreational facilities in Los Angeles. Dominant gangs in Los Angeles. And since that time, some members of both gangs have looked for new ways to redirect their energy. And as Mary Major Jack shows us, they're turning their frustrations into money. Give this guy something to do. Instead of picking up a 9 millimeter to go shoot somebody, they can pick up an 8 and write a diss rhyme. Since rap is so powerful. <laughs> other than when it's time for animosity, you know what I'm saying? But as we progress, you know what I'm saying, doing the album, and you know, looked at it as a business type issue, other than, you know, a gang banging situation, you know what I'm saying, things kind of change. It's always trying to reach the kids, yeah, the younger you, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Trying to, try to keep them, you know, going out there and doing some of the things we did, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, just some help, you know what I'm saying? And I'm all with it. Can you ever imagine a day where you're just all going to be friends and you're not going to be blood and friends? Later on down the line, we will put these away, you know what I'm saying? To be able to kick it amongst one another without having to say, down that's blood, or I'm a crip, you know what I'm saying? We can just kick it as homeboys, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be blood ones, yeah, it's going to be a black thing. For Screen Scene, I'm Mary Major Jack. The Bloods and the Crips debuted their first video from the album Bangin' on Wax at the Troubadour in West Hollywood. It's a project designed to make a difference. I'm not killing a snow. I'm running from the police. I'm the spot just hanging with the homies. Hey, 
they're able to get their frustrations out on a record. And uh, take for instance, we shot the video shoot. I had over 220 different Bloods and Crips from all over. I mean, I didn't know half the guys, but they came there, no violence. I mean, it was a little confrontation, but when everybody understood, hey man, we're here to make records. We're not here to fight and kill each other. We're here to make records. It was cool. I'm getting letters from teachers all across the country. They planted in schools. I'm getting letters from kids calling me, sending me letters. They want to, I mean, I mean, it's been, it's been great. These gang members feel positive momentum building. Because the simple fact that I was so positive, you know, people can't see anything negative, you know, the, a lot of people get killed on tape, but nobody get hurt. Whenever black people get together doing something, to, uh, you know what I'm saying, together, it's a positive thing, you know what I'm saying, whether it may be sports, rap, or whatever it may be. And some have decided to discard their masks. We're taking the flags off our face, you know what I'm saying, so people can see us, you know what I'm saying, and understand some of the things we're trying to do, you know what I'm saying. It's not glorifying gangs, you know what I'm saying, but that's what we are. Banging on Wax will be an ongoing project involving many more Bloods and Crips from different parts of the city, demonstrating there is a lot of raw talent on the street. Francesca Capucci, Channel 7 Eyewitness News in West Hollywood. ...have come together, it's often been with deadly results, but now these bitter rivals are reuniting for a common cause called banging on wax. CNN's Gloria Hillard reports. On turf, staked out by scrawls on the walls, there's a confrontation. Members of Los Angeles's most notorious gangs, the Bloods and the Crips, meet for the cameras. On the mean streets, home to gang banging, they've turned bullets into a war of words, a rap record, recorded by 16 members of the two rival gangs. Here's a chance to do something I like to do, which is rap, and make some money at the same time. They were brought together by record producer Ronnie Phillips. We're going to make a record. we got to come together. It's still unity, man. It's about black power, man. We can't be fighting and shooting each other. I mean, you guys have an opportunity now to become somebody.